So why don't we move to new business number one and talk about the ambulance contract. Again. Oh, and I'm going to pass this off to Ms. Chungler to handle this one. To the clerk? Yes. Uh, so Fire Chief Spank and Abel and Town Administrator Nixon met with Amherst Town Manager Mizanti, Fire Chief Nelson and Finance Director Pooler and negotiated a three-year extension to the existing ambulance contract. There are provisions for the town Hadley to shorten the length of the contract term if it is in the town's best interest to do so. The increases in service costs are $5,000 per year are in, are, and are in line with prior contracts. Um, please take a vote to sign the agreement. So, Mike or Chief? So, uh, I think you summarized it nicely. We did have a meeting with the, uh, uh, the town of Amherst on the renewal of the, uh, of the uh, ambulance service we had. Uh, open and honest discussion about the town's uh, desire to explore alternatives to the current arrangement that we have with the town of Amherst. Uh, so we talked about possibly issuing a bid in the future or perhaps uh, some other exploration or other partners with, uh, uh, to provide ambulance services. Uh, they acknowledged that that would probably be in the best interest and in the long-term interest of the town of Hadley, but we all agreed that uh, at this particular point in time, we're not ready to uh, take that project on. And so signing up for a deal for a three-year uh, service contract with provisions to opt out in years two or three, depending upon uh, where the town is, finds itself in the next year, uh, they were agreeable to that. And we, uh, we recommend this uh, contract uh, to continue providing ambulance service to Hadley residents and visitors. So moved. Well, but so as it was pointed out, though, in, in this contract, um, the town of Amherst may Last terminate it, terminate here. this contract annually year. upon written notice, whereas we have to give a two-year notice for termination. So, is there a reason for that? Well, it's a, it's a one-year notice to the town of Amherst. They're just they can do it annually. And can, we can't. <clears throat> Basically, if you, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but if we had time to put something together for July 1st of this year, we could tell them that we want to go up on our RFPA process that would give them one year. So that would be, next year would be their last year, if we had the time to do that. I, David and I, we had a very realistic conversation with them, um, the amount of work it's going to take to do that, and we felt that this was the best option, and we've... I, I, you know, I we had a chance to talk with the the fire chief as well, so that him and I will be sitting down and making sure some of these other items that we've been concerned about are going to be corrected. And I, I think it was the best option for us. Can I just ask, just on one that I, I keep re reading this sentence, so I just want to make sure because you were in the meeting, so mm -hmm. that this is so. It says the town of Amherst may terminate this contract annually, and I understand. That you just explained with Joyce, upon written notice to the town of Hadley by July 1st, prior to the fiscal year for which the contract is intended to be terminated. So to me, the July 1st prior to the fiscal year is actually the, the year, year before. before. Yeah. Is that what it's intended to be? Yeah, so, that's why so that is two. That is two years, years notice, basically. Two years notice. Well, two. Oh. Year and a half. Because if, if I, I mean, the way that that's worded, so let's plug in FY 2018, say we wanted to be done, or they wanted to be, they wanted to be done with us. Terminating the contract upon written notice by July 1st prior to the fiscal year, the July 1st prior to the fiscal year is actually July 1st, 2016. Yeah, so they would have to give notice, uh, say, by June 30th or April or... Of 2016 to terminate for July 1, 17 through and June 30th, 18th. Yes. So... I, 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 mean, I like <laughs> that. I just want to make sure that that's what it means. Because if they meant the July 1st at the beginning of that fiscal year, 
then they're only giving us one year Correct. notice. Yeah. No. Okay, so you're okay. Then the only other thing I had was in um, section three. It says the town of Amherst shall provide quarterly reports to assist the committee established pursuant to paragraph eight. Um, paragraph eight is something different. I think they mean paragraph seven. seven. That's where the committee's yeah. established. We can make that change in our own machine and have that ready for you to sign. I did, David. I I apologize. I did see one thing. I just wanted to bring it to your attention and for discussion. <coughs> uh, we did have in there the, the last year's contract that the town of Hadley may terminate the contract upon the failure of Hadley Town Meeting vote. Is that something that should remain in there? Yes, we talked about it at the meeting at that time. Because yeah, it's not in the new one. All right. So I just it should be in there. Okay. That was the only thing. So you'll get us a corrected copy. So if you could take the vote to sign um, the corrected copy. So hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a couple more questions. Oh. We still haven't got an ambulance committee together. Why can't we go out for requests for information on services so we have a number to compare to and look at? What are we getting for that $5,000 a year right now? that they've been increasing for the last 10 years. Their argument is that uh, that they're losing money on... Uh, At $4,000 a call, it's pretty hard to believe. Uh, I'm just, uh, just telling you, but this goes way back to the days of Larry Shaker when he and I fought each other over the ambulance service for, for months until the two boards had to <laughs> intervene. Uh, so the... Um, the, the agreement between the two boards is that the incremental cost per year would be five thousand dollars, and this this um, this uh, current contract just keeps us in that tradition. The town of Amherst would uh, has argued that it really costs us three hundred and fifty thousand dollars to provide service to the town of Hadley. My counter to that is that they're not billing properly and that they're yeah. leaving money yeah. on the table. And we, we, can yeah, we, go, we, can, we can go around that, that tree. We don't have any times. reports. We don't have any facts from them, you know. And and mm -hmm. I think we should go out and see what else is out there. I've been saying that right along since you've been wanting to get this committee together for, for an ambient study committee. And, John, I completely agree with you, but I, th I think we need to secure services for our residents before mm -hmm. doing yeah. that. But I would like to see that moved up but again we have that's what's that's what's been we've had six yeah. years of the ambulance study yeah. we have made presentations to the board of selectmen we, we have we have no other information from we have any other services do you have other yes. services yeah. that was presented as part of the first three year yeah. contract yeah. And, right. and we're reviewing it again so it's up again, to us i think it's important yeah. that we have service and they've offered us a contract that allows us to actually opt out of it so that we can make sure we are making the proper decision mm -hmm. So I think it's kind of giving us that request for information by doing that. We've had three studies. We've done three studies. And this other, this past one has been the longest one because we keep renewing it and keep looking at it. I mean, we had other people come in from other districts um, to see what was out there. We, we have done a thorough study on it. So, so we have a motion on the table, first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Abstain. Three and zero, two. I'll turn the meeting back over to Chairman.